What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Samurai Radio Sports Network. I hope you guys have been having a fantastic day. As you see, I'm recording this video a little late. Happy Black History Month. Happy February. We are just inching closer to the combine, the draft, the offseason, and it's just some of my favorite things, especially in football. And that also brings us to the mocks. Now, yesterday I did not have a mock out. Uh, I don't know if you could tell by yesterday's video. Today's video, uh, I'm a little more uppity. I'm, uh, I'm a little feeling better. I'm not as tired. Uh, so I want to get this out. And I do very sincerely apologize uh, for the fact that the video wasn't out yesterday and it's being delayed to today. I will have it next week back on Tuesdays as it is scheduled. Uh, and tomorrow's videos, we, everything will be pushed back. Uh, so you'll see videos on Saturday and Sunday since I did uh, miss a technical day in content. Uh, so everything will be pushed back until Sunday and then the schedule will restart on Monday the way it's supposed to be If you don't know what that schedule is go look at my videos. You'll see it. It'll say uh, Official uploading schedule And that's what I'll follow by as well as streams will officially start on Saturday on twitch.tv slash dr. Samurai. It's the first thing in the description Make sure you guys go follow it uh, So that when I go live you will know as well as I will post a video right before I go live Probably about 10 minutes before I go live, so everyone starts flooding in there, uh, and then I will start to stream. So, we're going to start with the mock draft. We're getting this uh, live again, as you can see. So, back again with the live video. So, I like I like doing this type of style of stuff. I, that's why I especially love the fact that I got OBS, because my, my past, my MacBook Pro could not handle OBS. It was actually pretty funny. Uh, but now, it's it's all working. I really enjoy it. I like making content. Uh, content uh, and my dad paid for the computer that I have. I mean, it's a fucking beast of a computer uh, And it, it's it's amazing and I, I get to make videos and I love it So I hope you guys do enjoy the content I put out but without further ado. I'm sorry for the two-minute intro But let's get into it. So As you guys can probably already tell I switched my number one pick back to miles Garrett I I, I just when I think about it, the Browns, yes, they have a hold on quarterback. Next year's quarterback draft is amazing. But on top of that, the def the, the Browns defense is horrible. Like it, it needs a lot of help, like a lot of help. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go with Miles Garrett there. So that switches back. Uh, but I have it at yellow just because I think that there's a possibility that they might pick a quarterback, but I highly doubt it. The Niners, and this is where things start to get interesting because I changed up a good amount of stuff not a lot of stuff but a good amount uh, of things i know there's some guys who have bumped up in the first round there's some who i've dropped out completely so it's a little interesting right now so i hope you guys enjoy it i know i'm definitely missing some guys i'm gonna start updating it next tuesday i'll do first and second round so i got a lot more homework to do than uh than i usually have so that's that's gonna be fun so deshaun watson to the 49ers now this one is a red pick just for the fact that I think that it's highly unlikely that they take uh, a quarterback in the first round. I think they're going to go defense. Once again, just like the Browns, although they need a quarterback, defense is their huge, huge issue. Uh, so I think that they go defense as well. And this one with the Bears, picking Deshaun Kaiser, I still think that this is a yellow. I think that the Bears are going to pick a quarterback if the top two defenders are gone, and that's Jonathan Allen and Miles Garrett. But in case... Right here, I have Miles Garrett gone, and I have Deshaun Watson going. And instead of putting Deshaun or Jonathan Allen to the Bears, which I think is going to inevitably end up happening unless he tears an ACL and he falls out of the draft. I, I, honestly, I think that Jonathan Allen will end up going to the Bears. I think they will pick him unless the Niners do. But in the case that they do, I got Deshaun Kaiser, a great future QB. I think the 49ers, poorly run franchise. They just hired John Lynch as their GM. I don't know. I don't know why to a six-year deal, uh, and it's not even official that Kyle Shanahan is going to be their <laughs> their coach. And if I was Kyle Shanahan, I'd wait till next year. I, I would wait till next year. The Niners' job is horrible. I mean, how can you have the players sitting here, especially free agents, if you want to sign them back, knowing you don't have a coach? Anyways, so going back to the the, the Bears, Deshaun Kaiser. I think they can build their franchise around him. I think uh, that John Fox would love Kaiser. So. Got him there. Jonathan Allen, I think, is the slam dunk pick. Him and Jamal Adams will be top five no matter what, in my personal opinion. Um, so I got him going there. To the Jacksonville Jaguars, they need defense. I've been saying this for forever. Jamal Adams, same pick, going to Tennessee Titans. They need uh, huge secondary help. 
it, no one it, it's the most obvious thing and with two first round picks they can take care of that now this is another one i have mitch trubisky going to the new york jets this is one i've heard about a lot where people have said that the jets like trubisky and that they might pick him at six i find it fairly interesting and i like the pick for the jets i really do as much as i would hate for the jets to pick a qb because i'd rather them just continue to suck um I think that this is good. I think I think it's a good pick, and uh, I like Trubisky here. I think if he's here, there's no way they pass on him. San Diego Chargers getting Derek Barnett. I kept I kept this the same. Now the reason being is because I do think that Melvin Ingram is leaving in free agency, whether it's to the Dolphins or to any other team. I think he's going to leave in free agency, and I think they're going to drop um, Joey Bosa to outside linebacker. I'm not too 100 percent positive they switch to a three four or a four three. In the case that they're st- or if they switch from a 3 4 to a 4 3, in the case that they are still in a 3 4, uh, you can move Joey Bosa to the outside or keep Derek Barnett at the outside uh, linebacker position. Either way, these are two guys that if you have on your team uh, in Bosa and Barnett, it's going to cause havoc for any fucking offensive line. So going defense in the first uh, round again here could be a, a slam dunk pick. I think it would be great. So Chargers, Derek Barnett. Carolina Panthers, Leonard Fournette, they need a running back. As much as I like to slot them an offensive lineman here, as you'll see, this draft's a little interesting. Don't cook me in the comments. I understand there are people here who should not fall out of the top 10 or should be in the top 10 or blah, 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 blah. That's why I say you can put your own mock draft down below and let you do you, all right? So I have that staying the same. Solomon Thomas, defensive end to Stanford, staying the same. Ruben Foster, inside linebacker from Alabama to the Bills, staying the same. The Saints, I've changed this from Patrick Mahomes because, like I said, I got cooked in the comments a little bit. I said that Patrick Mahomes is a fourth rounder. Said that in the video, and I said it in the comment section. And no one was understanding that I said that, listen, the reason why it was a red pick and not a green or a yellow is because he's not a first-round talent. I said that teams might jump for him because bad, badly run franchises tend to do that. And... Whether we want to admit it or not, the Saints aren't a great franchise. They're not a very good run franchise like the Browns. They're not well run. The Bengals are not well run. Uh, the Chargers, definitely not well run. The Jets, all these guys, not well run. And you could argue that the Dolphins haven't been well run either, but now they have a system in place. So Stephen Ross isn't really that important uh, besides the fact that he cuts the checks. So I feel like a, a, a team like that would pick early on accident. But they need safety help. Jerry's bird is getting older uh, and there's a guy right here. You can match him up with Von Bell. That could be pretty interesting and I think that would be a, a great pick uh, personally. So then we go Browns instead of slotting them This is the thing when I was doing my mock. I was like man. I would love to slot Deshaun Watson at one and Mike Williams at 12 that would just be Amazing, but I didn't but at 12 I have them picking Marshawn Lattimore they need corner help. They need defensive help. Uh, there are some QBs like Patrick Mahomes you get in the fourth round or like a Brad Kaya you can get in the second or third, maybe the fourth, depending on how he falls and the cards fall for him. So there's chances. Now, I think Kaya will go in the second round to the 49ers if they pick defense or the Bears, uh, but we'll, we'll have to see for that. So I got Marshawn Lattimore here. They need corner help. I expect Joe Hayden to be cut. This is interesting because I think it might happen. I think Joe Hayden might get cut. We'll see where he goes. Arizona Cardinals. So there was a report that came out that they don't know if Carson Palmer and Larry Fitzgerald are returning next year. That is a huge exclamation mark there. And I'm going to put this out here. All right. You guys might, you guys might disagree with me, but let me know if you agree in the comments or what other trades you think might happen. But I think that the Cardinals, if Palmer retires, will trade for number one. If not number one, number two. Because then they need a quarterback. And they have the ammo to do it. They, they definitely have the ammo to do it. So I think that could be super interesting. Like beyond interesting. But for now, I have them going Mike Williams. They need some strength at receiver. Especially if Larry Fitz retires. So this guy's a slam dunk pick. Whoever's going to be throwing him the ball, he's going to be fucking amazing. So Indianapolis Colts, I've said it for weeks now. With the mock drafts that they need a running back, Dalvin Cook, right in their hands. I mean, Luck and Cook could be great. Quincy Wilson to the Eagles. I still have that there. 
Marlon Humphrey to the Baltimore Ravens. I think they need corner help. I've been saying that they need corner help, uh, and they do. They don't have true corners, and they need some help on the corner side of the football. Washington Redskins. Oh, shit, I fucked up. I said the Redskins. And I got – okay, let me address this really quick. I don't care if the Redskins' name is racist or not. I don't care how people feel about the Redskins' name. But I personally don't want to say it because I know that there's people who aren't fans of the name Redskins. There are a lot of people who aren't fans of the name Redskins. Therefore, that's why I say the Washington Washingtons. I fucked up by saying the Redskins there. Usually in my videos, I put the Washington Washingtons. I say the Washington Washingtons. And that's just out of a respect thing for people who don't feel comfortable with it. But I did say Washington Redskins, so I apologize. But the Washington Washingtons get Corey Davis. They need receiver help. I don't think Pierre Garcon's staying. Once again, if they get rid of Kirk Cousins, expect them to trade in the top five. So this could be a very interesting draft. There are a lot of teams with shit on the line here. Uh, Tennessee Titans, they need secondary help. I've said it for weeks. They get Jalen T's Tabor to pair up with their new shiny new safety and Jamal Adams. That could be fucking awesome. That could be amazing. I would love to watch the Titans. I mean, if they get that, that would be my third favorite team right there. Just to watch them play defense. It'd be great. Uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Chris Warmly out of Michigan, and this is the one that's changed. I had this being Ryan Ramschick, and he's one that's fa fallen out of my first round. He's my first pick in the second to the Browns, oddly enough. Not a quarterback, because they also need offensive line help. But anyways, I think Cam Robinson's a great offensive lineman. He's by far the best in this draft. There, I, I don't think there's any doubt about it. So I think this is a very interesting pick. They need offensive line help, like a lot of teams in this draft. And although I doubt he'll fall to 20, I think he's a top 10 pick. But the way that my mock draft kind of fell, he just got kind of pushed out a little bit back. Just like some other people got pushed a little back. But I feel like it could work. Uh, I like Cam Robinson. I think he'll probably go to a team like the Saints or the Bengals or the Panthers. But we'll have to see, honestly. But... This is a great pick. I think it's a slam dunk pick if he falls to them. No doubt about it in my mind. Then I have Detroit Lions. I've changed this. Now it's Caleb Brantley. And something I saw, which I find very interesting, and I think this was on Walter Football. I don't agree with everything that Walter Football, Walter Campbell puts on his website. He gave the signing of Adam Gase a C- minus last year. I think it's an A-plus now. But anyways, um, he, he put that ever since Adamic and Sue left, they have not found another guy to be that force. And I think that Caleb Brantley is. This pisses me off because at the beginning of the year, well, even like a month ago, Brantley was like a second round pick. And I was like, ooh, the Dolphins are about to snatch my boy, Caleb Brantley. They're about to snatch Gerard Davis. They're about to snatch everybody from Florida. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. I hate it because I'm a Florida fan. I would love to see the, the stars on the Gators be Dolphins. But shit, sometimes you just, you don't have a choice in life and you got to go with what what they hand you so Caleb Brantley becomes up comes that and Dominican Sue force there the Miami Dolphins I've had this I switched it and I'm keeping with it I think this is going to happen I think there's no doubt in my mind that the Miami Dolphins will grab Zach Cunningham I think he's a amazing linebacker I, I mean I think he's an amazing outstanding all SEC I mean this dude led in tackles he is just fucking amazing I don't think he's as great as a Reuben Foster in terms of coverage and shit like that, but I think Reuben Foster is more meant to play a 3-4, and Caleb Brantley is more meant to play a 4-3 inside linebacker. Or Sorry, Zach Cunningham is meant to play a 4-3 inside linebacker. Uh, and I like, I mean, I like this. I like this pick. I think Zach Cunningham is by far, if not the best, the second best, linebacker in the draft in terms of upside then we got Gerard Davis the outside linebacker from Florida going to the Giants they don't have great linebackers their linebackers are fairly weak uh, and they could use a guy like Gerard Davis I think that'd be great you can mentor him uh, under a guy like Olivier Vernon and Snacks Harrison the only issue there is you could have Jonathan Hankins be gone and Jason Pierre-Paul in the same offseason uh, I think it'd be interesting you have to see what happens then Oakland Raiders, they need defensive help. I've said this for the past couple weeks. Charles Harris out of Missouri. The Houston Texans, I've changed this from Brad Kaya because I, when I was thinking about it, I was like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, I was sitting here 
doing my mock draft again a couple days ago. I did it on Tuesday night. Uh, well, actually, no, I did it on Monday night. I just didn't feel like recording it Monday night. Um, but I was sitting here looking at the draft, and I was like, why the fuck did I put Brad Kaya in the first round to the Texans? I was like, I'm fucking stupid. And <laughs> I was like, I was just thinking to myself, I'm a fucking idiot. So I got O.J. Howard here. A lot of people were predicting O.J. Howard to the Texans. Uh, I would have to agree. Then I got Taco Charlton going to the Seahawks. Their defensive line is getting old. Might as well mentor a guy like Taco Charlton, uh, along with some guys like Frank Clark that they have there and Jerron Reed uh, under that great defensive line they have. So that that could be your next big three in terms of the defensive line with Jerron Reed, uh, Frank Clark, and Taco Charlton. Kansas City Chiefs, I've had Christian McCaffrey going here forever, and I think they will draft Christian McCaffrey. There's nothing in my mind that's changed it yet. But who knows? Shit can happen. I got the Dallas Cowboys getting some defensive help in a guy who I think is one of the best defensive linemen and one of the most underrated defensive linemen in this draft. I think Demarcus Walker, and this is coming from a, a Florida fan. This is coming from a Florida Gators fan. This dude is a fucking maniac. I mean... This guy can go in the first and he can go in the second. I would prefer him to fall to the second and fall into the Dolphins' laps. Maybe the Dolphins straight up and get him. But DeMarcus Walker is such a great defensive lineman. And he was so underrated this year. Maybe because FSU didn't have the greatest year. But he is one of the most underrated defensive linemen in this draft. By far. And I think Dallas needs some help on their defensive line. Especially since they've made some mistakes in terms of draftees. Uh, so DeMarcus Walker, I think is a guy that can come in there and fit that Dallas Cowboys mold. I would hate it cause I fucking hate the Cowboys. Um, but what am I going to do? Sidney Jones to the green Bay Packers. They need corner help. Pittsburgh needs corner help. A Dory Jackson, Atlanta Falcons. I would like to see them get a new defensive tackle. Their defensive tackles are pretty old. And this is the pick the last pick of the first round of the 2017 NFL draft mock draft from Samurai Radio on February 1st, 2017 at 10, 17 p.m. Takaris McKinley, the outside linebacker from UCLA. Now, Takaris McKinley is another guy along with Demarcus Walker that I like a lot. Like, I really, really like them. And I think this could be a slam dunk pick for the Patriots. And I think if anyone would pull it off, especially in the first round, although New England tends to trade down and gather some late round picks. If there's anybody that could pull this off and get a slam dunk pick like this, it would be Bill Belichick. It would be Bill Belichick. I mean, there's no other guy I can think that would be like, this Takaris McKinley, man, he might fall in the second round. He, we might not get him. I don't know. I think it could be a slam dunk pick. I would... I think this would be a very good quality hiring. That's all I have to say. Or not hiring, draft. I think it would be a very good draft pick, a very high quality draft pick. Uh, he could fit into their 3 4 scheme, and it would work perfectly. He could be the next pass rusher for them in a 3 4, and that would be absolutely insane. But I hope you guys did very much enjoy this video. Uh, it's a little longer. I think I like the fact that my mock drafts go a little longer because I give a lot more. Um, background to every pick and i think that's a lot more interesting rather than just going through them and i don't like putting out these long worded things because i don't have the greatest spelling in the entire world um i don't have the greatest grammar in the entire world so i, I like to put this out uh and i like to get the videos i love to get your guys feedback and these videos do so well and it, that makes me super super happy that these videos do so well i mean these ones all the mock draft videos, I mean, my videos go up and down. I mean, some of them have 200 views. Some have 400. Some have 1,000 plus. I mean, my highest view video has 9,000 views, and it was a season prediction for the Dolphins. But these mock drafts gain the most views. I mean, my Miami Dolphins mock drafts at 255. Uh, the mock draft 4 is at 1,421. So these get the most views, and it gets the most quality feedback, both bad feedback and good feedback and that's what i love i mean i love to get you guys interacting in the comments that's why i said i love streaming because i really really like to uh get everything out to you guys and i love to interact with you guys both bad criticism and good criticism most of the time you'll see me respond to every single comment if i have the time whether it's good or bad most of the time if it's bad i'll shit talk the person for a little bit uh if it's good then obviously i'll think and ask for opinions and shit like that even sometimes if it's bad, I'll ask for opinion. I mean, someone said that my pick to the Cowboys was stupid and it was like, 
I had the wrong pick order, but they said it was stupid. They wouldn't pick it. I said, okay, well, who would you pick? And we had a nice conversation through the comments. So I like that. I like to talk to you guys. I like to interact both negative and positive. So uh, thank you so much for the feedback. Guys, make sure you subscribe if this is your first time checking out the Samurai Radio uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I build this off of the fact of my love of football, my love of sports in general. And I know that I have the goofiest fucking logo in the world, but it's me. Like, that's what I like. That's my logo. I love it. And I love uh, these type of videos. I love to interact with you guys, like I said. And I will be streaming a lot. So it's going to be more live interaction. I stream gameplay of basically Madden. I'm going to start branching out a little bit, though. I might do some NCAA. That's still football. Some NBA and some other shit. Maybe I'll do, like, some NBA rebuilding stuff just to have some fun. But make sure you guys do subscribe if you, uh, if you haven't already. Make sure you like the video. And if you if you like, you see this video, you're like, damn, this shit's long. This boy's fucking talking. He's out of breath. All this other shit. Go look at my go look at some of my other videos. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. For those of you who have not already seen my um video for the what's it? The Colts franchise. It was a super exciting episode. There's only 46 views on it. I know. I got 376 of you guys. You should guys go watch that. I'll make that the second link in the description. I think it's very enjoyable. The second and third week of that will come out most likely tomorrow and Friday. So look out for that. Th I've been playing this, and I stopped for a little bit just to get out of Madden. I've been playing a lot of Minecraft recently, but um, it's a very good. It's very good. I mean, the first season, I I think I'm at like week 10, and, and it, it is good. I mean, there are ups and downs. There, are, It's... I like it. So I hope you guys will like it as well. Enough of me rambling on. I hope you guys did very much enjoy. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to comment down below. You maybe your own mock draft. You want to send me a link on it uh, in Twitter. My Twitter is down below in the description. Make sure to go follow me. I'll put up a lot of stuff about my videos or when I'm going to go live on Twitch. But until next time, peace.